All right, welcome back to Sportsline. We're asking Titans fans tonight, do you want Richard Sherman, the Seattle Seahawks, uh, their GM coming out on uh, earlier this week and basically saying, yeah, we will listen to trade offers for Richard Sherman, the all-pro cornerback, the multi-time pro bowler, the first-team all-pro, considered by many to be the best cornerback in all of football. But again, and we had Christopher and Tony on uh, the previous segment to say, yeah, the Titans should go and try to get Richard Sherman. But again, I'll, I'll bring this up again. If he's so great, and if he's such a winner, and if he's such a guy that's going to help you win, why do the Seattle Seahawks no, no longer want him? For the money he's making, and yeah, he's a skilled player, but for the money he's making and the potential headaches he can cause you, why don't the Seattle Seahawks want him anymore? That's, a, that's the question I need answered. If you want Richard Sherman... Then you have to answer that question to me tonight. 737-7767. Do you want Richard Sherman? Why? And what would you give up to get him? Somebody mentioned again today, give up Derrick Henry and a mid-round pick for Richard Sherman. Are you sure you're getting what you think you're getting with Richard Sherman? You got to ask yourself that. Now, on the plus side, this is a guy that would probably come in motivated. I'm sure he, he would be not happy about you know, the fact that he got traded. He, get, he would get to play for Hall of Famer Dick LeBeau as a defensive coordinator. A good young football team in the Tennessee Titans that's improving every day. Their roster's getting better. A team that's going to be favored by many to win their division this year. I think they will win the AFC South coming up this fall. But I also think, again, I think John Robinson wants to build his team a certain way. And Richard Sherman, to me, seems like too much of a me guy and not a we guy. Now, a lot of people say, well, who cares? As long as we win. Well, that's part of winning. You know, you look at the teams that have been successful the last decade or so. You know, the Giants with two Super Bowls, Pittsburgh Steelers with two Super Bowls, all the success that New England Patriots have had. And knowing a little bit about all of those organizations, I know one thing. They're all about keeping things in-house. They're all about cohesion, chemistry. You know, we guys, no me guys. Richard Sherman, to me, strikes me as a, a, as a me guy. And I don't think that fits here in Tennessee. I don't think that fits the locker room. I don't see a guy like Delaney Walker or Jarrell Casey or Brian Arakpo saying, yeah, this is the kind of guy we want. Let's see what David has to say on line one. David, do you want Richard Sherman? No, not at all. Okay, tell me why. The reason is that the cost, the cost benefit. Mm -hmm. The cost benefit is too high. It is too high. Yeah, he makes a lot of money. And the thing about it is, you know, if I can sit there at five, and David, yeah. if I can sit there at five in the draft and get a Marshawn Lattimore exactly. for a lot cheaper, exactly. and he's younger, yeah. and he's going to come in and work his butt off because he's a rookie. Exactly. Not saying Richard Sherman isn't a hard worker, because I believe he is, and he's a talented player. Yeah, but he's going to be behaving like he's better than any other person else. Yeah. In the team. You know? And the Tarzans is not a team. You want that in the locker room. Mm -hmm. With a two year with a two year with a two year old quarterback. Right, yeah, a quarterback entering his third exactly. year. Exactly. Right, right. You know, if something goes wrong somewhere on one player, if they can come back to the bench, you know. I start creating all kinds of problems. Mm -hmm. you know, that is not what you need. You know, the days, the days of the, um, um, the days of a Pac-Man Jones are over. Mm -hmm. We have dealt with all those people who come, you know, who come in and create a mess, and it has caused the Titans so many number one picks that are wasted. Mm -hmm. You know, because. The Titans is not a team like if it is in New England, you know, he is, if he's going to New England, you know, you know, then he's going to shut up there because New England has done it right. over and over and over and over again. And David, and thanks for the call, and how have they done it? Like I said, basically they've had one star player in, during this entire run that Belichick's been there, and that's Tom Brady. Everybody else has been complimentary. I mean, look at the receivers that Tom Brady won a Super Bowl with. Danny Amendola, Julian Edelman, no Gronkowski. Martellus Bennett's a decent tight end, but he's not as good as Gronk. 
These are not stars. These are not superstar players. These are not uh, me guys that, that shoot their mouths off to the media. They're, they're just players. And it all works. You know, they've won five uh, championships. So, and again, John Robinson is from that tree, that Bill Belichick team building tree. Uh, we got, who we got? Kevin on line three. Kevin, do you want Richard Sherman, yes or no? Richard Sherman is a overpaid drama queen. No, we don't want Richard Sherman. It's a distraction. Let's do it John Robinson's way. Let's build this team and continue to build this team the way that John Robinson's building it. No Richard Sherman here. No, sir. You know what, Kevin? It's funny, and I agree with you. You know, it's funny. NFL fans are great, obviously, and the NFL is so popular, but it seems like a lot of NFL fans, and I'm not just talking uh, specifically Titans fans, but, you know, fans of all 32 teams, right? They all want the quick fix. Get this guy now. I remember the first couple days of free agency, people were tweeting, what's John Robinson doing? All the good players are getting signed. What's he doing? Tell him to wake up. You look at what John Robinson has done in one year, from three wins to nine wins, an improving roster. You know, you hope, you hope, you hope, uh, you certainly hope that uh, Mariota is going to be okay, which I think he will. Why would you bring in somebody like Richard Sherman with all the potential headaches that he could cause you? I, I don't, I think that, I, I don't really mean to put this man's name out there and talk bad about him, but I, I think with Richard Sherman, I, 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 I don't think it's going to be a good fit. Uh, let's continue to grow with what we have. I think if Mark, you know, if Marriott is healthy the rest of the whole season, there's chemistry. I noticed this year that they, that we finally have cohesiveness. We have chemistry. There's a positive vibe around Nashville. People are, they, I can't wait for 2017. And if the Titans aren't picked to win the AFC South and compete for a playoff spot, Something's got to be going on wrong, but let's not let Richard Sherman come here. Let's keep things going the way that they are. We don't need Richard Sherman here. Who, who cares about Richard Sherman? You know, uh, John Robinson's done a spectacular job. We're not looking for superstars here. We're looking for team players in Nashville. No question about it. Thanks for the call, Kevin. I, I agree with Kevin 100%. And again, I want to make clear that when it comes to a guy like Richard Sherman, I respect the fact that he's outspoken. He's a highly intelligent guy. He went to Stanford, okay? He's not a dummy. Um, he's an intelligent guy. He's a terrific football player. He knows what he is, and he'll look you dead in the eye and say, I'm the best corner in the NFL, and it's hard to argue. But again, the intangibles. And kind of what Kevin was saying, the way this team is coming together right now, the way the city is getting behind this team, I think you can win without Richard Sherman. But, again, I know a lot of you folks out there say the Titans should go out right now and trade for him. I want to hear from you. I want to hear from both sides. Do you want Richard Sherman to come to Tennessee to be a Titan? Seahawks GM says he's open for business. Let's talk trade. And he put that out to all 31 other NFL teams. Should the Titans pull the trigger and try to go after him? We want your phone calls and a lot more coming up on the other side of the break. This is Sportsline on News Channel 5 Plus. Please do stay with us.